In this video, we set up a lightweight dipole on a telescoping fiberglass mast. We found a nice place for lunch along the White River near Mount Hood. We will set up a 40 meter dipole. Here is a convenient signpost to support the mast. It turned out to be a bit taller than it looked, which isn't as convenient for the video. First, I extend the top section to make it easier to raise later, then I secure the bottom section of the mast to the post using bungee cords. The next step is to attach the antenna center insulator to the mast. The very top of the mast is too flexible, so I attach the clip right above the top of the second section. Here's a close-up. I loop the rope through itself three times, then pull it tight. This forms a pressic hitch. This will support the weight of the antenna without sliding when jammed against the joint. The dipole center insulator is attached to the carabiner. And the mast is raised to put the antenna at a convenient height. Then each side of the dipole, including the support rope, is unwound. and lay the wire on the ground in the desired direction. Let's take a look at the center insulator. I built this backpack dipole kit over 40 years ago using a piece of rubber hose. The wires tie through the hole, then the ends clamp under the nuts. Now to lay out the second wire. This one unwound itself, causing a bit of a tangle. The small wires don't show up as well on the video as the bright colored support rope. Before raising the mast, we also have to unwind the coax cable. This antenna kit uses RG174 cable for light weight. First, I make sure I'm not standing on the wire. I can't push the mast up all the way because the coax is too short. Then I tie off the end ropes to a convenient acre, in this case a tree or a bush. Because there is little tension on the antenna, just wrapping the rope around a branch is often sufficient.
I pull the coax out from the bushes and we are ready to connect it to the radio. For more information, visit practicalantennas.com.